Hello everyone, so today we're going to be unboxing some uh, sealed Xbox One games I picked up when I was in Poland. A little fun fact for those who don't know, um, Xbox One games and I believe PlayStation 5 games as well and PS4 games are all region free, which means that um, with the exception of China, all, all Xbox One games can be used on any console in any country like I said, with the exception of China, and I know that this is true because, uh, well, funny story, whenever I bought a used copy of Cyberpunk from GameStop, they claim they only sell Amer American games, and I bought it online, they shipped me a European copy. But sure enough, it works. Um, all of these games have an English option, except for Elex. I picked these up in Poland. Can't remember if I mentioned that or not. Get a thousand points instantly. Uh, okay, that's... I have no idea what that is, but if someone wants it, help yourself to it. Alright, there's the disc itself for, uh, Soul Calibur 6. Not a huge Soul Calibur fan, but I like Soul Calibur. The grand total of all these, I don't remember exactly, but it came out to about $45 for all three of these. This is the only one without an English setting, Elex. I paid like, I think it was 12 PLN on sale. So like $3 to get this brand new. You're not going to find a, a brand new game for $3 in America. I think the only time that ever happened to me was like, it was like right after The Sims 4 was uh, made free to download. And I didn't know this at the time, so whenever I saw it at the store, I was like, oh yeah, I'm going to get Sims 4 on my Xbox for only $2 and something cents. Alright, this wrapper is not going to come off. Come on. Come on. So not having an English option, Elex will definitely put my Polish to the test. I actually picked up a couple Polish books. I have the English versions of while I was in Poland to try and kind of help me learn. All right, what do we have here? Is it a poster? Is it a booklet? It is a manual. Wow, you don't see many manuals in this day and age. So that's cool. Just don't know why it was in there backwards. See, there's the disc itself. THQ Nordic. They're uh, working on the last Ronin game. Really excited for that. Darksiders 3. Three. I've never played Darksiders, but this was like five bucks if I remember correctly. So I was like, yeah, for five bucks, I'll I'll give it a shot. Why not? You know, Soul Calibur was the only one that like had any real cost to it. Like I said, this was like maybe like five bucks. The other game was three, so Soul Calibur was like thirty something. I think it is safe to say that Soul Calibur is the biggest name of these three. Come on now. I'm having to sit in an uncomfortable position because my cat pretty much demanded to be cuddled. So I'm having to sit with her on my lap at a weird angle. There's the disc. You know, that's pretty cool. And uh, Soul Calibur actually does not have a Polish language version. So that probably hurt its sales in Poland just a little bit. But, um, that's all I have to say for today. You know, let me know what you thought about this down in the comments. Um, have you ever seen European games? Did you know that, that uh, Xbox One games are region-free with the exception of China? Just uh, let me know down in the comments. Jesus loves you. Goodbye.